Monday. Welcome back to another Mixology Monday with the Metal Mixologist from Drunken Smithy. It is a time to celebrate some of those really fall feeling seasonal cocktails. We are about halfway between fall and winter. Thanksgiving is in another week and I want to play with the one herb that is happily still thriving in my garden this time of year and that is sage. So I'm going to make you a sage and honey inspired cocktail. I've made several versions of this cocktail in the past because my son's name is Sage and my dog's name is Honey. So it's a little tribute to them. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a little dollop of honey to a measuring cup. And that's probably about a teaspoon. And then I'm going to grab a sage leaf. If it's a really large one, just use one. If they're smaller, it's unnecessary to use more. And I poured some hot water on top of that to make two ounces. And then I'm going to take a whisk and just make sure my honey gets dissolved. Now, if you wanted to do a non-alcoholic version of this, I would add two ounces of orange juice to this, and then I would top it off with either cranberry juice or a ginger beer, which ginger beer is non-alcoholic and spicy. If you are partaking in the alcohol, today it's gonna be a whiskey cocktail because all those woody, smoky flavors that come with whiskey really lend themselves well to that cold weather coziness. I am using Jameson because whiskey isn't my favorite libation. This would still taste great if you use a rye whiskey especially. I wouldn't go super smoky, but something with a little more nuance than Jameson will still lend itself really well. All right, and because this is gonna melt my ice a lot, which will help dilute it, I'm gonna put the liquor in the cup first. And that is three ounces of whiskey. two ounces of an orange liqueur. You know, I like Beauchamp. It is, um, has more orange flavor than the other orange liqueurs. And I'm gonna add this two ounces of infused syrup. I'm even gonna put the leaves in there. And you notice I ripped the leaf before I put it in. That's two ounces of that. So I'm gonna pop the lid on and shake it. Good and cold. And I always end up needing something hard to open this. There we go. And unlike the others, I'm not going to strain this. I'm going to pour the whole thing right into a cup. Oop, I made a little bit much for this cup. <laughs> That's when you take a sip off the top. And that is delicious. It almost tastes like um, a tea. And so this is a great way to enjoy that cold, cozy weather inside. Light your fireplace, enjoy a cocktail. Happy Monday, I'll see you at the forge.